As a heads up, I wound up with well over two hours of material for this video, so I'm going to break it into parts. So in this first part, we're just going to cover a little bit and we'll dive more and more as the parts continue. Hey, hi, hello. My name is Akash Thakar, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I design sounds from scratch, especially when it comes to using libraries that you may not be totally familiar with. The reason I'm making this one is that the fine folks at Pro Sound Effects actually sent me over their collection of sound effects. In this case, the Odyssey Collection Essentials is what this one is called. And they have a whole bunch of other stuff over on their website. But they sent over the Odyssey Essentials. And basically, this is a general purpose library of tons of different sounds that you're probably going to end up using in film or animation or, in this case, games. So a uh, general purpose library is exactly what you think it is. It's a library of sounds that are kind of grouped together as things that you'll probably end up using. So if I just scroll through here, you can see that this is the Odyssey Collection Essentials. And I'm just scrolling as fast as I humanly can. And it has tons of stuff from all sorts of different categories. Now, there are a ton of general purpose sound design libraries out there. And this one was curated from the collection of two amazing sound designers, Mark Mangini and Richard L. Anderson. And between the two of them, these two have worked on movies like Blade Runner 2049, Mad Max Fury Road, The Fifth Element, some of the Star Trek movies, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Poltergeist, The Lion King, Predator, and tons and tons of other movies. So you know that you're in good hands when you're working with some of the stuff that people who have worked on some of the most iconic movies of all time have been creating and curating for decades. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is taking an animation that I'm working on for a video game called Mirador. And what I'm going to do is show you how I design for that from scratch using only the stuff that I have in this library. Now, in sound design, a lot of people will say that it's very common to go out and get your own sounds. And that's definitely true. You've probably seen my videos on Instagram of me doing exactly that, recording my own sounds. In fact, I record my own stuff every single day. But sometimes there are sounds that you just don't have or have access to. So what we're going to do is take this cool little animation here, and this is from a game, again, called Mirador, of a portal opening, and I'm going to show you how I approach that from scratch. So there's a lot of stages to the sound. This blue kind of fills up this black pillar. It stays there for a while, crackles open, idles for just a minute, and then starts to close back with a little resistance, it looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do when I search this library, by the way, I'm constricting it to just the Odyssey Collection Essentials for this video, is I'm going to just type in some sounds that I think may suit this. But just to see what this library has, I'm just going to type in portal Okay, unfortunately, Portal won't show anything, so we actually have to do some work. What a shame. So let's start with something that may be tonal. So I'm going to type in beep and see what comes up. Cool. So I typed in beep. We got a ton of stuff. We can scroll through it. We got a lot of options. It's already some neat stuff in here. So I couldn't find anything in the beep category that worked for me, which will happen all the time. So what I did instead was I typed in the word energy. And there's some stuff in here that actually might suit better. Kind of 70s sci-fi sounding stuff, which I love. Ooh. I found it. I think I can make that work. All right, so I found my first little sound. So what I'm going to do is just click and drag this. Call it portal intro beep, just so it's clear to you what that really is. So I have this beep up, up here, so I'm going to just kind of drag it over, move it frame by frame over so that we can see it sync up with this little swell, maybe partway through. Cool. So we'll have it play right then and there. Doesn't really sound great right now, but we'll work on it. So I'm going to open up my favorite reverb at the moment, which is the Fab Filter Pro R. They're not sponsoring this video in any way, I just really like this reverb, because you have a lot of control over it, and has a little built-in EQ. So we're going to leave that for now, but it's okay to bounce from thing to thing and go back to from layer to layer. No issues whatsoever. So we're going to leave that and come back to it when it's time. 
Now, what I'm looking for is any sort of sound that kind of gives me some inspiration on where to start with this, because honestly, I can start from low ends, high ends. I can start by getting some electricity sounds. There's many, many different ways I can go about this. And considering I'm not super familiar with this library yet, considering they only just gave it to me, I am going to look around and see what kind of hits me. This time stuff seems real cool. Neat. You know what? Yeah, let's take this kind of time breachy one. And what I'm going to do whenever anything is kind of explosive like this, it's not a bad idea to try hearing it in reverse. So I just reverse that sound up here. I'll kind of take out some of that fade in, make it a little shorter, maybe time shrink it a little. Fade it out just a little and see how that sounds. Just kind of drop it in and see what works. All right, we're going to call it there for part one. So thank you so much for watching and be on the lookout for part two soon. Thanks.